all right, kids, we've had a lot of fun today. And what now what we're going to do is we're going to wind it down. We're going to sing a calm song, whisper a prayer in the morning, kind of get us all calm. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, kids, we're going to stand up. We're going to sing I in, right out, right up, right down, right. Everybody have, have a seat. We're going to go through the verse. You just repeat after me. Here we go. All right, all right, all right. Everyone up, up, and up again. We're going to sing. I sing a new song. Are we ready to go? John 3, 16. Whoa, whoa, whoa. For God so loved the world. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on, hold on. God so loved the world that he gave what? His only son. And that's that why we can sing a new song. Ready? All right, um, kids, guys, be quiet, please, quiet, please. Um, um, we're singing a song. Um, um, Daniel was a man of prayer. He prayed like, come on, I didn't, guys, shh. Uh, I didn't sign up for this. I just came to Bible college. I don't know how to do. Uh, all right, we're gonna sing a song, guys. Quiet down. Stop laughing at me. I don't have questions. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. But have everlasting life. But have everlasting life. John 3.16. John 3.16. John. All right, all right, all right. Everyone in your seat, this is getting a little out of hand with these workers up here. They're not too great. All right. Oh, is that, is that chips that I see? What did I say about chips? What did I say about chips? No chips in the classroom. You, were you just looking away? You weren't looking at me, were you? Come up here. Come up here right now. Get on the ground and do 10 push-ups. Do them like a man. Get on the ground and do 10 push-ups. Oh, you are not a real man. You are not a real man. Go sit back down. I can't even watch that. Oh, were you just, you're still eating, aren't you? You're still eating. He's gone. He's gone. You know what? You come up here, get him, take him out. He's not coming back for three weeks. I cannot put up with this in my classroom. Everyone, look up here. We're going to be talking about God's love today. All right, and so Tim and his grandmother, every single night before Tim went to bed, they would gather around. Um, she would sit in, they were walking home, and Tim, he tripped over a stone that he... He was boiling mad. He picked himself up from the ground and swung at Jim, and they began to punch, they began to fight. And so Tim was so ashamed of himself, he couldn't even look at his grandmother. And he was so, so ashamed of himself, he said, I'm so sorry, Grandma. And oh my, Zach is looking, he's doing so good. And Miss Sabrina, do we have any more snacks? We don't have any more snacks for Zach. <laughs> All right, guys, and now today, Miss Jennifer is going to bring us her story. All right. How many of you guys love trains? Okay, good. So, um, so the story... story basically is that this boy really likes trains, and, um, well, then he went to school, and he disobeyed, and so then his mom finally rescued him from the railroad tracks, and she pretty much died, but, um, he didn't really care at first, but then he saw her hands, and then she, then he started crying, and so, kids, you should always remember to obey your parents, because if you don't, it's so devastating what it can do to other people. All right, thank you very much, Miss Jennifer. That was a great story, kids, wasn't it? <laughs> All right, kids, I hope you liked that opening game. And now Miss Sabrina is going to come up here, and she's going to be doing most of the stuff for the rest of the class, so she's going to be so much fun. Uh, I <clears throat> so I know this happened last week, but like... Uh My throat's still a little sore, so could you like, I have, I have a uh, game story, verse, songs, quiet seat, just last time this is going to happen. I just, <clears throat> All right, Miss Sabrina is down for the count today, so we are going to do some songs <clears throat> now. In the bottom of the lion's den, but those lions, they weren't even bothering him, but 
back in the palace. King Darius, he was pacing back and forth inside of the palace. He didn't know what he was going to do. Oh my goodness, Daniel was in the lion's den and he, he had already made the proclamation. He didn't know what he was going to do and he thought, oh no, 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 no. Daniel was my most faithful man and oh, I just made the biggest mistake of my entire life. And, and Mr. Jericho, he's not even, he's not even awake. Thy word have I hid in mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. All right, now does anyone know what the word heart means? The word heart. Johnny, what does it mean? It's what you put your hand over when you say the pledge. I mean, that, that's right, but that's, that's not the answer I'm looking for. Webster's deluxe unabridged version tells us that a heart is the human heart regarded as the seat of emotions, personality, attributes, etc. Hence, the seat of the emotions said of the moral side of human nature in contradistinction to the intellectual, as he was all head and no heart. Do we understand that, kids? No. no. Are we done yet? And all right, kids, I know this might be a little bit morbid for you. But, Jail, she took that hammer. She put that stake right into his head, and then she hammered that stake deep inside of his head. It went through this side and through the other, and his brains were spilling out of this side. There was so much blood. This might be a little bit too, too much for three-year-old junior church, but everything was going everywhere. And, oh, that's what's gonna happen to Johnny if he doesn't start being good.